dry and parched lands of Kenya's north. With this land seemingly reeling from the effects of scorching sun, one may think that nothing good could come out of this vast wilderness. On the other hand, 8% of Kenya's landmass is under forest cover, with the government planning to increase it to 30% by the year 2032. Environmentalists have equated trees with lungs due to their ability to clean the air mostly by getting rid of carbon dioxide, usually released into the atmosphere by fossil fuels, mining, transport, among other sources. Pastoral communities are hard hit by climate change, where many of their livestock have died from the pangs of drought. However, the script is changing in northern Kenya, where age-old traditional environmental conservation techniques have started paying off. Thanks to the introduction of a multi-million carbon credit project being implemented in 14 conservancies in Isiolo, Samburu and Lake Kipia counties. Tunajua kwamba kuna aina tofauti ya carbon, eh, tuko na blue carbon uh, kwa upande ya mabari, tuko na red plus carbon kwa upande ya eneo za misitu, na sasa tuko na soil grass carbon kwa upande ya rangeland, sama grassland. Na sana sana kwa sababu eneo hili la northern Kenya ni eneo ya wafugaji. Na inakuwa bora kama eh, wafugaji wanaiza tunza arti yao. Eh, kwa sababu huu mradi naangalia kutoa greenhouse gases eh, from the atmosphere. The techniques have gained traction due to their ability to remove carbon from the atmosphere, catching the attention of President William Ruto. I am pleased to share encouraging news of an exemplary Kenyan project which is the first and largest in the world focusing entirely on soil carbon removals through sustainable grazing management. It is on course towards its inspiring target of removing up to 50 million tons of carbon dioxide from the ecosystem over the next 30 years. Carbon, this is what we call Gijepe. This is what we call the money of Gijepe. We are here in the country, because we are here in the country, and our country is here, and our country is here. We have a lot of people who are here, 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 ni kidogo imeshangaisha jamii yetu ya Northern Kenya. Mara wanasema ni bonga points, mara wanasema zibii ni pesa ya hewa na mambo kama haya. Locals were reluctant to embrace the project, but now they can boast of a new financial stream they have branded pesa ya hewa. Mwaka wa 2020 waliweza kuuza tani milioni 3.2 ambaye iliwapatia saidi ya bilioni moja na nusu uh, ambaye wame, wanaendelea kugawa kwa sasa kuweka katika miradi zao za jamii. Hii shule yetu ambaye ime benefits na hizo bazaris ni shule karibu nane. Na zile pesa zimeenda kwa bazaris katika jamii tatu niliwambia 1.5 kila shule ilipata. Alafu hii shule ya Samburu walitenga 400,000 kwa hivyo ni 3 million 900,000 ilienda kwa bazaris. Tangu zizi tuwanze hivi project ya kwa Zavanzi atijawai pata maji. Wakati tulipata hii pesa, saisi tuko na baul, mbaya tumeweka maji kwa lodge, tumejesa, HQ vile vile. Hii project yote saa ina endelea, hatuna shide ya maji kwa sababu tumepata baul moja. With this carbon money, we, we are doing, we are touching part of the wildlife here. They are benefiting because they have now water, they are now guaranteed of water. We used to lose many, many wadhoks before the walls here. They go. They look on the deepest well that you saw today. They jump in because they want. And tomorrow, you'll get five of them dead in one well. We have reduced the mortality, the deaths of those animals, jumping on the wall because of water, because of providing this water. Land use management plan is key for the soil to sequester carbon from the atmosphere. Carbon is stored in the soil through trees. Oh, Maradi, vile medisainiwa, ama vile imeumbwa, ni Maradi ya miaka salasini. 
kwa hivyo jamii wakeza kumanage ama kufanya hizo best practices yao na hakika ya kwamba kuelekea mbele hiyo mradi inaweza kuwafaidi kwa miaka 30 sijaso the community as a grazing program where they graze their animals in a specific area for some time and later moves to a new grazing area anyone who grazes in areas where they are not supposed to they pay a fine grazing pattern tunapanga hata pia mifugo unajua tuwezi ishi na wanyama peke yake tuko pia na mifugo iko patterns tunafanya rangeland mwaka huu wakati wa ukame watu wanakula upande huu wakati mvua inanyesha wanakula upande hii kama nyasi zama imemea kama ile kama hii kuna laini tunatoa na kuna wareno wanatolewa wachungi wa, wa hapo kuna mali wesi fuga e, ukipatikana unapigwa fine hapo ama kule mbusi ama utoe kwa pesa ndio usirudie tena kufuga mali nyingine na safe safe nyasi yetu ndio ishikisha mahali sasa ndio kama tunaona dali ya fine na kuja tunaenda kukaa tunasema fungua sasa hii kila mahali mali kule hapo yote kwa sababu tunaona dali ya fine na kuja this means um, nutritious pasture for livestock and wildlife this also means uh, the soil conditions are improving the soil is able to hold more water and it's able to uh, to withstand uh, erosion when we have these uh, floods within the landscape when good grazing management plan is followed the ground is able to regenerate unlike when no grazing plan is employed by doing that the soil is able to store carbon for 30 years the expectation or the target we we, we want to achieve is removal of um, 50 million tons of uh, carbon of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere this if you you can equate it to annual emissions of 10 million cars the community is paid basically for practicing good land use their conservation efforts by not allowing cutting down of trees or overgrazing among other practices minute wanafurahia kwa sababu walipata pesa na juu ametoka wavi wakasema mungu ndio amelete kwa sababu ni anasema ni hewa we have just completed the, the verification of the carbon credits for uh, 2017 to 2020. Um, and so those ones are also ready to go to the market. Uh, we, are, we are selling at the international voluntary carbon markets um, uh, through a partnership we have with the U.S. The North is known for the wrong reasons like drought and insecurity. But with this project, it is evident that there is hope in the wilderness. Dan Kamuru K24, Samburu County.